And what's your favorite team? Michigan. It's an excuse to get mad. Oh yeah, very mad. Can I get a, can I get a mad face? Even if you're not a raging basketball fan. I'm not in a, you know, pool or anything, but my friend over here is. But if you are, you've surely got your brackets stacked. So who's in your final four? It would be Ohio State, Louisville. Oh, I got State in there in Georgetown. Michigan. Miami of Florida and Florida. You chose for Michigan to go all the way, even though you don't think they're going to win. Yeah. While b-ball commentator Dick Vitale put his bracket up against a pair of dolphins. Here we go. As he picked Louisville to win it all, the fish chose San Diego State. And even the president has gone a little mad, picking Louisville, Indiana, Ohio State, and Florida to reach the final four. So what's the strategy in planting those seeds into your brackets? ESPN Radio, whatever those guys say, I. I go with it. I did. I did a, a bracket that I had my dad help me out with. I called him last night. Just kind of go by seeds and go by your gut. What does your gut tell you? Go with the Michigan teams. I think my gut's telling me this right here. March Madness doesn't necessarily mean basketball to everyone. I don't ever fill out a bracket. I just enjoy the festivities. <laughs> and those are the festivities right there. Well, if you can't make it out to the bar or a restaurant to go watch the game, uh, you stuck at work, you're watching the game on your computer. Well, you know what? Your boss walks by. Oh, look at that. It's a boss button. I'm just checking my email. I'm not watching any game at all. And if your boss is still mad, just offer him a hot wing. So if you're able to finally clock out and head out, with a toast, let the madness begin. That's the way you gotta do. It's madness. What are you gonna do? 